What's up guys, today I've got a brand new video for you guys and this is a new series I like to call Walker's Talks. So today, what we're going to be talking about today is struggling to grow as a small content creator. Now, there might be a lot of reasons why people may struggle to grow as a content creator like myself and some other people that I know in this sort of uh, community and you know, YouTubers these days, they have like a huge camera crew with big fucking cameras, big massive lights, proper professional gear. It's quite hard for us to compete with, with things like that. I mean, I know some people might be able to do it, but myself, I don't have the equipment like that. Like, pff, for, for my lighting, I, I just use two of these. They're only small little things, you know. It does go fairly bright, but, you know, it's not quite like the big, massive box camera, uh, big, massive box lightings that, that you can get. And so, and other people, like, they got big, massive cameras. Like, right now, I'm using my phone for my camera. Like, yeah, it looks crisp, looks clear, you know. You can see me pretty clearly. But, like, with cameras that they use, like, KSI, the rest of the side men, Logan Paul, Mr. Beast, they all use their like professional big camera crew to record their high quality videos. And then once they've filmed all that stuff, put it into editing, they've got professional editors that they can do uh, crazy effects. They've got their proper knowledge. They got they got all the professional is all the professional stuff for the. Uh, for their editing as well. So they probably got like packages that can make these effects go wild. They probably cost a bit of money. Some of us might not be able to afford something like that. I don't know at what packages they use or if they use any sort of packages or how much these packages cost. But yeah, and they use like After Effects and all that. So maybe they got some, they bought like some extras for that as well. I don't know. But yeah, it's just a lot for us to compete with, like sit like us, we're recording videos in our bedrooms whilst they're recording in studios, uh, offices, or, you know, their gaming setups. Like, you've seen people's setups. Like, Mini Minter, he's got, like, one hell of a setup because um, Constantine, who films Sidemen videos, he, like, literally spends a killing on making their setups look pretty much amazing. They've got all these lights. They've got, like, two PCs or with like three, four monitors, where, whereas most of us just have one or two, and I just find that insane. That's still hard for us to compete with, and like, even with streaming. So, all these big streamers, they've got two PCs working, and they are like high-end PCs with like, the best graphics card, the best P CPU, the best this, the best that. They've got everything perfectly in that PC, everything, is just high end and it can make the quality of, of the streams look like 4k or 8k or whatever's happening on these days whereas me i'm just here with like 720p slash 1080p at a push with my streams and it like it can lag a little bit sometimes here and there plus they've got like the best internet too down here in wales i haven't really got the best internet or whatever but yeah, there's just a lot of reasons why content creators like us, who have between, well, who have zero to over, yeah, just have zero up to whatever, and we are struggling to grow, and it's just hard to compete with, They're, like, literally. <laughs> Plus, like, we don't have a clear niche or clear branding through our videos, like, we just do, well, I do a bit, a bit of everything. You'll see me gaming, you'll see me uh, vlogging, you'll see me do music, you'll see me eat a hot chip just for fun, and that was a stupid idea. And you'll see me do videos like this from now on, where I'm just talking about different subjects and just get a conversation going in the comments section. So hopefully this video w will, co will create a conversation in the comments, because that's what, what I want, or conversations on Twitter on, and so on. It, it, it can be hard and it can be a bit like might lose motivation sometimes 
because you see these high end videos, they get like proper load of views over like a thousand, over like a million, and so on. And that just makes you feel like mm, no one's gonna watch a video if I've only got about fifty plus views or five plus views. But you know, you know, you never know. Like you could watch a video and it's sort of got like five views. It could be like an amazing video, just no one's seen it yet. But yeah, it's still a struggle for small content creators for us to reach the numbers just because of all the high quality videos that are out there now it's hard for us to compete with sometimes as well we may run into problems like we might not have we might not be able to give you guys the best quality like i said they've got like 4k 8k we're on like 1080p at push and we might also we might like have issues with audio where like YouTubers that are big, they might, they well, they might not, because they got more experience. They have like the, the high end products to, not even worry about that. So some some of us might be running on like a cheap microphone, some of us might be using just audio from our phone or audio from whatever camera we're, we're using, or whatever, or like some sort of headset. But yeah, that 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 um definitely puts it on a bit of a downer for some of us because nobody wants to watch a video with bad audio but yeah like I feel like it back back in the day like when like KSI Syndicate all them guys Mr. Beast and Ninja and all them when they first started doing their videos or whatever it was a lot easier for them because well I wouldn't say it was it, I wouldn't say it was easy but like it was easier for them to grow back then than it is to grow now because i feel like back in there back in those days you didn't really have there wasn't like full-on high quality videos there wasn't like these um big massive shoots for youtube videos i not that i know of i can't remember any other ones but yeah and then they had their their time to to grow because back then, gaming was popular. Everyone wanted to watch a gaming video back then. Not many people want to watch a gaming video now. Uh, what else is there? Vlogs. I mean, they are st vlogs are still kind of popular now, but like not as popular as it was back in the day. Like Syndicate, he's always on his vlogging stuff these these days, and even back then, his vlogs were big as well. And well, music, music is own is big when you've got the the right equipment you sound professional you sound confident and it is that just helps you get your voice out there and yeah it's just they, they had it a bit easier back then because not many people were doing what they were doing at the time whereas what we're doing now tons and tons and tons of youtubers I've already done that, they're already doing it, and they're getting big numbers from it, where it's just hard for us to reach over about 100 views. So yeah, that's kind of a another difficult one. We might also experience like our cameras cutting out mid-shoot. We haven't got much battery in our camera, or our battery isn't that, uh, doesn't last very long. We're recording a video, and you know, you've been recording for a bit, and talking and talking and stuff, and then doing your thing and then the camera just dies dies on you so then that kind of ruins the video a little bit you're, you've you've had a good flow going on and then bang camera dies and you're like ah shit gonna, gonna change the battery or change this or change that whatever now or and change the settings or something like that so yeah then then that might have effect on the next part you shoot you might be a, a little pissed off from the camera dying so then you gotta like carry on with the video and like oh, okay right okay so it might might not look very uh good then because during the first half you're all like you know all excited and all ready to shoot and then when you change that battery you might have a bit of a pissed off expression on, on, on your face or you might sound a bit pissed off for a bit to begin with and people be like what the hell what? or whatever might be confused or something but yeah that that, that is something else also uh, thumbnails. Thumbnails is another big thing as well. Thumbnails usually catch the eyes of people. Now, 
thumbnails are probably like the biggest thing for YouTube videos. As long as you have like an eye-catching thumbnail, it looks professional, bright and vibrant, and it like makes sense with the video, then you're gonna get a lot of views if you're a big YouTuber again. Because these big YouTubers, they don't do their own thumbnails. They get someone else to do them. They get like a professional Photoshop person to do them. I don't know if that's what it's called, a, pho a Photoshop person, whatever. They get someone else to do their thumbnails professionally. They, they know what kind of background to use. They know where to get all this stuff from. They know how to make these effects on Photoshop, make the thumbnail look very, very professional and amazing and all make it all blow out you know say if you saw one of my thumbnails and then next to that you saw like pff, well a big youtuber's thumbnail you're obviously going to click on the big youtuber a because he's a big youtuber b the thumbnail looks better c the video is obviously going to be better because it's high higher quality and d you're just a dickhead now <laughs> so some of us we can create like you know what? Decent, decent thumbnails. You know, we we can create decent thumbnails, but just nothing like these YouTubers are making these days. We we don't have the sort of sort of money really to uh, get someone to be like, oh yeah, can you make a thumbnail for me? Because they would be charging crazy money just to make a professional thumbnail. And you might think, Jesus Christ, that's a lot. I'm not gonna do that. I'll just do it myself. And then we just come out with some sort of thumbnail. Like they, they they're good. Our thumbnails are, are good for how how uh, big or small we are. But yeah, again, thumbnails is just harder to compete with uh, big YouTubers' thumbnails. Like yeah, we can copy them very slightly with uh, our knowledge of Photoshop, but we can't do all these special effects. Some people might be able to. I'm fair play to you. Fair play. But yeah. A lot of other people like us, we can't really do all these special effects that uh, the other people's thumbnails are getting. And another, and another one like for new YouTubers that are starting out, like like my, like myself and some of my um, friends that do YouTube, we might be a bit uh, shy, might be a bit nervous, might be a bit scared, but like a lot of us have uh, grown from that. So if you are freshly starting. Like, obviously you're going to be a bit nervous for your, for your video. You might feel like a bit of an idiot talking to a camera, talking to a phone or something like that. Like, like my first video until now, that is such a difference. It is such a difference. From Syndicate's first video to now, massive difference. Okay, size video to now, massive difference. Uh, whoever, other YouTubers first video to now such a difference so uh yeah the, the more you do it the more natural it'll come to you that's that's what i think or just pretend you're talking to face talking to someone on facetime to pretend you're talking to your mate or pretend you're talking to a family member or something like that just pretend that you're talking to someone that you like to talk to and yeah and, and then it'll just come naturally like you'll sit you'll sit down set up your computer press record on your phone and it'll just come out natural it'll flow good or flow well and you'll just feel like you're just talking to a friend. So that's episode one of Walker's Talks. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what other subjects you'd like me to cover. Because I would like to keep this series going on and on and on. And get some conversations in the comments going down below. Make sure you click that like button. Click subscribe. Click the bell next to subscribe. So every time I upload a new video, you get a notification when it's uploaded. And you can share it with your friends. The difference, share it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, peace out guys. Working five days a week in a bar Confidence keeps going up very far I'ma leave a permanent mark in this game Like a motherfucking Harry Potter scar Yeah, you know I'm going far You know I'm getting bigger Every single project guarantee I will deliver Because my head is much clearer I'm feeling like a winner And I'll squash up any critter Without a reconsider Yeah, you know I am the best You know I'm never stressed I don't do this to impress I just do this to express So any people listening Have the courage to refresh So go out there Because your adventure has begun Hold your head up high So you can hit that home run Your time starts now Ready up, player one